Welcome to the Road to Freedom, my first Ultimate Iron Man account. Inspired by region locked accounts, I wanted to take my own adaptation on unlocking the world of Gyelenor. We'll be traveling through the different regions with a number of milestones in place to advance to the next place on our journey. Starting out in Mistelin, we'll be working towards each raid, fully unlocking Gyelenor one kingdom at a time. Picking up where we left off. Finished Cook's Assistant, gonna start us out at 4 cooking from the Crest Rewards. There we go, always a good start. I found myself on the second floor of Lumbridge Castle, and that means that we're coming across the first weapon upgrade for the Ultimate Iron Man. Instead of kicking these chickens, I'm finally gonna have a weapon that I can use, the Bronze Dagger, right here on the table right next to the Crafting Tutor. We're gonna start the Rune Mysteries quest here just to get the ball rolling for the future down the road. Continuing with the Rune Mysteries quest line. And hey! Our second random event on the account from the Freaky Forester again. Good to see you again, my friend. All right, so right here, uh, we got the gr drill down. We're going to take a pheasant. Pick up that meat. We're going to hand it to the Freaky Forester, take the portal out of here. What are we going to be getting for us? Thank you, Freaky Forester. And hey, it's the leader hose and top. There we go. All dripped out. Take a look at us. We're looking dapper, if I say so myself. Doing a bit of a two bird, one stone situation here. Uh, gonna talk to Cedridor to continue along the Rune Mystery quest line. After what feels like an eternity of text, uh, an eternity of a conversation, honestly. Gonna head over here to the altar. Gonna swoop this skull from the altar and then run away as fast as I can from this guy. My goodness, this dude is straight out of a Scooby Doo episode. Now, I'm planning to get my combat skills to around 20 base level before continuing the Rune Mystery quest line. Before I head up over to Virok and actually leave Lumbridge, I feel like there's just a lot of things to do down here before moving forward. I plan to train my skills later down the road, grinding on hill giants since they're some of the best training methods that I'm going to have access to here in free to play, and I need to grind up to where I'm going to be able to comfortably do that. As well as some other grinds that I have planned, but no spoilers here, at least not yet. I am going to need a means of food access and ways to continue living off the land as I'm doing my training, just as I have been, and that's what brings me here to Drainer Manor. And yes, there it is, that's exactly what I was looking for, the tinderbox. Now this is going to be the only tinderbox I'm going to have access to in all of Mislin. I'm not able to claim it from the woodcutting tutor since I'm not allowing myself that shop access. And because of that, I'm also not able to spend at the general store. So in terms of cooking my chickens and not having to run back and forth to the ranges, this is going to be an easy grab for me. On our way out of Drainer Manor here, this room right here is going to be a pretty important one. I'm going to have access to some pretty good things like a spade and a bucket. But most importantly, it's going to be the next equipment upgrade for the Ultimate Iron Man. Securing the bronze med helm here on the floor. Armor and weapons are easily going to be one of the most important aspects of combat training that I'm going to be feeling in terms of the account's restrictions. So any opportunity to revel in an equipment upgrade, we're going to be excited about, definitely. I'm going to throw that on, and hey, looking sharp, Nick. Looking sharp. Now that we have the tinderbox, the last thing that we need is an axe to make the fires, and there should be one somewhere around here. I'm not exactly sure where it is, I just kind of need to look around. Now, the wiki does say that there should be a bronze axe right here on Fred's farm. And, well, I'm on the farm, and that's Fred. Fred the farm is right there, but I don't see this axe anywhere. Unless it's right in front of my face and I don't see it, but this does change my plans quite a bit, because I was going to use that axe with the tinderbox that I just got to be able to cook the chickens while I'm training so I could just save some time running to the ranges. Without the bronze axe, which is supposed to be right here somewhere, I double checked the wiki because I wasn't finding it easily, but I wasn't able to find it here, so I'm going to have to figure something out on the fly in the future. Just doing a quick double check around, and I can't find this axe anywhere, so let's just shear some sheep while we're here. Now we've got the wool, and before we go spin it up, we're going to make a quick stop in the crypt here to give the restless ghost his long-awaited release. And that is going to be Restless Ghost completed, bumping us up to 11 prayer. And that is going to be Sheep Shearer completed, gaining some more XP for us and crafting level 3, reaching us to a total level of 57, making headway towards our goals. You know, looking around, part of me was hoping that finishing this quest would make that bronze axe magically appear on the floor, but I'm starting to think that I'm losing my mind. 
Anyways, with a little bit of questing behind us, back to business. We're going to be training attack now here on these chickens. And there is level 2 attack. Come on, man. Don't run away. Don't be a chicken. Second hit point level on the account. We got level 4 attack. And burying these bones here, we're going to get level 12 prayer off the same goblin. Great things come in pairs. Going to get cooking level 5 on the skill inside of things, taking a break from combat to make up some chickens. And then we're going to be getting level 6 cooking. There we go, both in the same run. Level 5 attack, we can hold steel weaponry now. If I had one. There we go, we got a clue scroll. Let's take a look, hopefully it's a missling step. And it's in port serum. Never lucky, dude. Still no clue scroll for the ultimate Iron Man. But that's okay, we just gotta keep our heads up. Time will come. Yes, dude, let's go. This goblin kill is monumental, guys. Getting the bronze square shield, which is supposed to be a 1 in 42 drop, and we get it in 14 kills, just one third of the time. That, that's really nice. Definitely makes up for the port serum clue. And this bronze square shield is going to be my best in slot shield for the foreseeable future. I'm really not able to take on that many different kinds of monsters. So this is a huge win early on in the account. Hit point level 13. And I probably can't show you guys every level. So I'm probably just going to be highlighting the important ones. Speaking of important levels, there's level 10 attack. So we can now hold black weaponry, which is going to be something that would be phenomenal to get from a beginner casket early on, but only time will tell. Something neat that I learned, uh, just kind of like reading about RuneScape and discovering things, because once again, I definitely have basic level knowledge of old school. And something that just cool that I learned is that each weapon gives you different attack style bonuses, and these things could matter. So you know how the bronze dagger gives a better stab increase uh, versus like a slash? So I could train strength with the lunge method since it's a stab method as opposed to using slash, which might not matter that much early, or might not matter much later, but learning stuff is cool. And back to the topic of monumental levels in the pursuit of 37 prayer. Every prayer level is a monumental level. So there is 13 prayer for the ultimate Iron Man. And a flashback to another topic since I love to remind myself how little I actually know about old school RuneScape. There is, in the little goblin house here, uh, there's an iron dagger on the floor right here. Uh, it's literally been right here the whole time. So, hey, there we go. An additional equipment upgrade for the account. That's awesome. A dagger upgrade. And, hey, I'll take it. I'm happy to know that it was right there all along. Uh, like I say, I don't know everything about this game. But these are the fun things, you know, being able to find these little surprises. It's been right there in front of me this whole time. Keeping our training going. Here is level 15 strength. And there's going to be another beginner clue scroll. Let's pick that up. Let's take a look, see what it's going to be. And this one's going to be a Reldo step. Uh, we might be able to do that. Before we go, another quick hit point level for us. But we can head over to Varrock, deliver the package, and check this out. The last thing we do before we head over for the Reldo step uh, is going to be level 14 prayer. Keeping those prayer levels coming. I love to see them. So the Reldo step adds an additional layer of complexity for my ultimate Iron Man. For those that don't know, Reldo offers you clue steps in the form of hot and cold clues. He hands you a mysterious orb that, surprise surprise, tells you if you're getting hotter or colder in terms of your location for the thing that you're looking for. Once you find the spot, you have to bring a spade with you and dig up it's either the next clue step or luck out and get a beginner casket. Reldo steps have one of five locations where they can be. The wheat field next to Drainer, the cow field north of Lumbridge, the mushroom patch outside of Draenor Manor, all of those three which are accessible to me. However, the two that I'm not able to access are going to be northeast of the Alcarid Mine and Ice Mountain. So every time I get a Reldo step from the beginner clues, I'm rolling a 60-40 chance of whether or not I'm able to complete it. So I'm still trying to find a way to get this bronze axe, and while I'm working on this Reldo step, something to bring up is the level 5 goblin drop table. They have about a 1 in 40 chance of dropping a bronze axe, so in the future, when I've got some more food, I'll be able to train on these goblins here while I'm in pursuit of that axe. Walking around, just trying to check out for the clue. Uh, the clue is Colder Here by Drainer Manor, which means that this Rodo step is going to be specifically atop Ice Mountain, and that's going to be in the Kingdom of Asgarnia, past Barbarian Village, so I'm not going to be able to get this clue step done. That's a bummer. 
a uh, funny aside to lift our spirits, I've been holding on to these runes from Goblin Drops because I figured when the time came to train my magic, I could just spam Confuse on the chickens, goblins, and cows over the fences. But it seems that I'm the one that was confused because I'll have to use Wind Strike to get level 3 magic. So I'm not going to be able to do that, and I'm just going to have to get rid of these runes that I've been holding on to. And with these bones here, that is level 15 prayer. Every prayer level is just a rush of dopamine at this point, man. It feels good. Fighting with these chickens here. On to the next monumental level for the account. We are going to be getting level 10 defense. And with level 10 defense, that means that there is going to be a new challenge that approaches us here on our journey. Now, from the short level 10 defense grind, we did get a beginner clue scroll from that last set of chickens before the prayer level. And this one is going to have us talking to Gertrude here in Varrock, which is in the direction that we're headed for the next step. So let's see what we're going to get when we talk to Gertrude here. Yes, we got a casket. First beginner casket on the account. And this is huge. We could get so many good things. Black item drop table, staff of air, rune drops. Uh, I'm really excited. And we're going to get a black wizard rope top, but there's, there's a silver lining here. That's an armor upgrade. This is our first real piece of wearable torso armor. We've been rocking this leader hosen outfit for a really long time. Uh, it's going to give us some magic defense. It, it's something. I'm going to take it. it I'm going to call it a win. We're, we're going to have to say goodbye to the leader hosen top. I think I'll hold on to it for a while for sentimental value. We've been rocking it for a while. You got to admit, we look pretty good, especially with the ghost speak amulet. It all kind of matches together. But this is a win. That's how I'm going to choose to see it. We're going to cook up the rest of these chickens here. And on this last chicken, we are going to be getting level 10 cooking. And we're going to be unlocking red berry pies. Our next stop here in Varrock is we're going to be heading into the Varrock sewer because we are going to challenge the unarmed zombies. Unarmed zombies are going to have the potential to drop mine runes, which is a source for magic training that we're really going to need. But more importantly, they have a 1 in 128 chance of dropping an iron axe. With our epic failure of finding a bronze axe earlier, we still need an axe to be able to get some wood cutting done. To be able to cook our own food without running over to the range all the time, we're just being able to save some time in between trips, especially when we're going to be training our combat levels and just unlocking the wood cutting and fire making skills all together. Zombies offer a lot of what I'm looking for, so I'm going to see more or less how long this is going to take. So I don't have the footage, but <laughs> I stopped looking at the screen and got invested into a wiki research grind and I died to one of these level 13 zombies. Definitely not my brightest moment, definitely not the moment I was looking to shine. I already grabbed all my things, but that is why I don't have the research package in the inventory anymore. I didn't go turn it in, so I will need to reclaim that from the wizard tower in the future. The wiki rabbit hole that I went down did offer me a sense of enlightenment though. That There's silver linings to all these things, guys. According to what I was looking at, I might be able to spare myself quite a bit of zombie kills and quite a bit of a time investment. I am going to be running all the way to the end of the Varrock sewers here. And thank goodness that I happen to have a dagger with me, that I have a slash weapon because I did not know about this web that was going to be in my way at all. I don't know how hard the things around here can hit me for, uh, but I definitely feel a bit out of my element. I feel like I'm in over my head, uh, even just kind of like looking around some of the things here, like there's like these giant spiders off to my left. Whenever I see anything that has a combat level in the red or it, if it doesn't automatically show me it when I'm next to it, I definitely feel like I'm in the wrong place. I feel really scared here because I see all sorts of things on the floor, but I'm looking at these red spiders and look, they itch near me and they follow me. They're, they're, they want a piece of me. They're, they're trying to get me here. And there it is. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, guys. The iron axe just sitting on the floor there. There are two iron axe spawns in the entirety of the game, and one of them just happens to be in the initial area, the initial region that I've locked myself in. No 128 zombies, no lies on the wiki like the bronze axe, just sitting there ripe for the taking, and I'm going for it. And yes, guys, it's it's surreal for me. You guys have no idea how happy something as simple as an iron axe can make me. 
I've been pressed about this axe thing for a long time. Ever since I couldn't find the one on Fred's farm, I was really worried about how long it was going to take me to obtain. I'm going to home telly out of here because everything here looks like it's ready to eat me alive. Now that we've got the iron axe, it's time to take this for test drive. It's time to see what we're doing. We got a quick chop down of the tree. Let's go. Finally unlocking woodcutting as a skill now that we have an axe just in our repertoire of things. And it's going to be a spawn on the floor, so we're always going to know where to find that. As soon as we're going to be lighting these logs, it's going to be our first mainland fire, fire making XP, so the doors are going to be kicked wide open. Our means of making food on the go, two new skills for the total level requirements on the account that we're going to have. There's so many other options that we have for the future here. I'm super excited about the future of this account and the plans that I have moving forward, and I hope you guys are too. Thank you so much for watching, make sure to subscribe to keep up with the Road to Freedom journey, and I'll see you in the next one.